Hi everyone, this is a tutorial to show you how I work the folded neckband on a top-down sweater. In a lot of my patterns, I include options for working either a flat or a folded neckband. Uh, one thing I just want to mention is um, when choosing which neckband to go for, bear in mind that if you're looking at a picture of the sweater I've made, I've probably worked the folded neckband if it's an option in the pattern because I just prefer how it looks. But also the folded neckband naturally is a little bit tighter in gauge than the flat neckband. With a flat neckband where this, rib, this ribbing just kind of merges into the stockinette and you carry on working from there will naturally stretch out um, with the weight of the jumper once it's all finished. Whereas when you're joining the folded neckband, this edge is very strong where it's connected and it kind of really tightens up the neckband. So generally speaking, you will find that a folded neckband sits a little bit tighter and a flat neckband will be a little bit wider or looser. So just something to bear in mind when you're thinking about which neckband to work in these in these sweaters. Okay, so I'll show you how to fold the neckband and connect the live round with the cast on round. So um, each time you look at the stitch and just work out if it's a knit or a purl. So here I've got a column of knit stitches. That means that where I'm folding up, the back of my work and looking at the wrong side row, I'm looking for a purl column to join up with. So if it's a knit on the right side, then it's a purl on the wrong side. And here we can also use the cast on tail to make sure we've got the right column of purl stitches. So once you've found the right place, you pick up just one leg of the cast on edge on your right or left needle, sorry. And then with the first stitch and that cast on edge, you knit two together. And that first stitch is now connected uh, with the corresponding cast on edge. So next stitch is a purl stitch. That means that on the wrong side row, I'm looking for the next column of knit stitches. And there it is. So I come to the cast on edge, pick up one leg of the cast on edge. You can pick up both. It's, you know, it works fine if you pick up both. It's just a slightly bulkier finish. But since it's on the inside of your jumper, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and knit two together. Here I've got a knit column. So I'm looking on the wrong side for the next purl column. Pick up one leg of the cast on edge, knit two together. This is a purl column. So I look for the next knit column on the wrong side, pick up one leg of the cast on edge and knit two together. And you carry on like that all the way around this round until you reach the beginning of marker again and you should then find that you've picked up all the way around the cast on edge to create that folded neckband. You can see it's forming there already.